Jay and Randy here, Canadian Energy, and we're going to have a look at parallel, series, and series parallel. Okay, for our series connection, we're using the same uh, Discover EV31 AGM, and Randy's going to give us a hand here again, and we're going to hook up a series connection. So Randy's going to start by going positive to negative. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and meter, and we should be metering 24 volts approximately. So next, Randy's going to hook up our next jumper. And again, I'm going to meter across the positive and our first negative, and we should have approximately 36 volts. He's going to bring in the fourth battery with a jumper cable. And if I start from my first negative to my positive, you're going to see that I have approximately 48 volts. So what we've done here we now have a 48 volt pack with 115 amp hour. For demonstration purposes, we've got the Discover EV31 AGM 12 volts. So I'll just go ahead and I'll meter nominal 12 volts. And we should show approximately 12 volts on the meter. So Randy's going to bring in our, our uh, cables. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do a parallel connection. And again, I'm going to just work the meter here as Randy puts together the parallel connection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the meter, sorry. So what I'm going to do here is take the meter and go to our negative and our positive, And the meter should still be reading a nominal 12 volts. Randy's going to go ahead and hook up the third battery with our jumper wires. Positive to positive and negative to negative for a parallel connection. Once again, I'm going to take the meter and I'm going to go to my first negative and the positive and we should still be reading on the meter approximately a nominal 12 volts. Randy's going to go ahead and hook up the fourth battery. And again, as soon as he gets that done, we're going to go ahead and meter to our first ground and to our fourth positive, and you'll see what's happened is that we still have a nominal 12 volts. So what we've actually done with a parallel connection is the voltage has stayed the same, but the amp hours increase. So with the EV31s, we're approximately, or sorry, we are 12 volts, approximately 460 amp hours. So we've increased the amp hour where the voltage has stayed the same. do is we're going to do a series parallel connection. Again, we're going to start with our 12 volt batteries. So Randy's going to go ahead and he's going to series the two 12 volt batteries to show us 24 volts. And I'll go ahead and I'll meter the two batteries. We now have 24 volts. That is a series connection. Randy's going to go ahead and series the second two batteries. And again, I'm going to go ahead and meter and we're going to show approximately 24 volts. So what we have is two series connections. And what we're going to go ahead now and do is a parallel connection. So Randy's going to go ahead and go positive to positive. And a negative to negative. And what I'm going to go ahead and meter, we have 24 volts. So what we've done is we've kept the voltage the same, increase the amp hour. We have 115 amp hour at 24 volts, 115 amp hour at 24 volts, combined 230 amp hours. Series parallel. 